What's up Japanese baseball fans? This is Caesar from Japanese Baseball TV and today I have two bets for Japanese baseball. Today is June 18th, 2019, Tuesday. Uh, the games all start at 6 p.m. Japan time, which is 2 a.m. on Tuesday morning, uh, Arizona time. So uh, let's take a look at our matchups today. Uh, we've got Oryx facing Yomiuri. We've got Seibu Chunichi. We've got SoftBank Yakult. We've got Rakuten Hanshin, Ippon Hand DNA, and Lotte Hiroshima. So let's take a look at the numbers. Um, there's two games that I'm targeting today. In particular, I'm going to be targeting the uh, Chunichi Seibu game and the DNA Nippon Ham game. So let's start with Chunichi Seibu. Chunichi has played uh, two games in a row, two very close games against Chiba Lotte, and they have spent their bullpen to the max. Um, if you saw yesterday's video, I talked about who I thought Chunichi would be using yesterday out of their bullpen. Um, actually, that ended up being wrong because they used the same people, uh, Hernandez and uh, uh, Rodriguez. They used both of those guys two days in a row. And those are the best guys out from the bullpen. So Chunichi's bullpen, as you can see I've indicated here, is completely dead. Completely dead. Uh, they ended up winning those games, but their bullpen is so spent and dead. And if you saw yesterday's video, uh, I listed uh, four uh, or five of their relievers whom I thought they would be using yesterday. They have no choice but to use those guys today if they need relief. And those guys, most of them had 6-plus ERAs. So Chunichi's bullpen is spent, and they only have 6-plus ERA guys to use. Seibu uh, had the day off yesterday, just like almost every other team. And so Seibu is also the uh, hardest-hitting team in Japan. They hit, they hit for more runs than any other team, as you can see here. They score 5.2 per game, whereas Chunichi scores 3.86 per game. Um, so if Chunichi is in need of relief, they're going to be in some big trouble. Uh, let's take a look at the starters. Uh, each team has won one in a row. Uh, in their last three, Seibu has scored 23 runs, and Chunichi has scored 16. Seibu, of course, had the day off yesterday. Their bullpen is fresh. And Chunichi's is completely dead. They were spent yesterday. They're dead now. I project the runs to be uh, 8.92. Um, and I see just from a straight projection with starters ERAs calculated, there is a 0 0.3 run difference between these two teams. So let's look at the starters. Shunichi is starting a pitcher named Achida. Um, Achida has an ERA of 3.74 in 21 innings. He's got a whip of 111. Uh, he's got a strikeout rate of 5.40. In his last few games, four games, he's gone six innings, gave up one against Hanshin, five innings, gave up two against Yakult, five innings, gave up five against SoftBank, and 5.2 innings, gave up one against Oryx. So decent numbers, but he does have a propensity to blow up. And also, he's not a long guy. He goes really short. Uh, let's take a look at his career numbers. He's a 367 ERA, but he's only gone in 2016. He went 14.1 innings. 2017, he went 13. And then 2019, he went 21.2. So he is not a guy who will go long. Uh, as you can see, indicated by his last four games, he's only gone six innings one time. Let's take a look at Seibu's starter. Seibu's starter is Imai. Imai came out as a pretty touted 
highly touted prospect, but he's never really lived up to his potential. He was on Team Japan, uh, but I just don't see I don't I don't see him performing up to his height. So far this season, he's pitched 64 innings. He's got a 4.48 ERA, a 1.57 WHIP, with a 6.72 strikeout rate. His last six games. He's gone seven, nine, five, seven, six, seven. He's given up two, zero, seven, zero, four, four. Aside from this seven clunker against Nippon Ham, uh, his last three starts, he's he's actually been okay. Seven runs and none given. That's against Oryx though, which is pretty much a minor league team. Uh, Rakuten, he went six point one and gave up four. Rakuten's got a pretty powerful lineup. Hiroshima, he went seven innings and gave up four. So he does give up runs, and he's not a big strikeout guy. Let's look at his career. Last year he came into the league. He's actually improved his numbers from last year. Last year he was a 4.8 in 78 innings. This year so far he's got 64 innings and he's a 4.48 ERA. So I'm not really impressed with Imai. Um, Achida performs better, but he has proven that he really can't go more than five innings. And those are against fairly light-hitting teams like Oryx, SoftBank, and Yakult. So given these numbers, I looked at the, uh, the odds for this game, and uh, Chunichi is favored at 1.64, whereas... Uh, Seibu is 2.2 odds, um, and the over-under was 8.5, and I saw that, and I couldn't believe it. I, I haven't seen a Seibu game with an over-under that was under 9 the whole season. As a matter of fact, I haven't seen a 9 all season, so 8.5 to me seems extremely low. I was actually surprised to see that, especially given the fact that Chunichi starter Achida has never gone over 6 innings. So Chunichi, with this completely dead bullpen, is definitely going to need some relief tonight. Plus the fact that Seibu scores 5-plus runs a game against normal pitching. I don't think Chunichi is going to hold them to 5 runs tonight. Seibu, on the other hand, has Imai going. He's got a 4-plus ERA. That's about what he is. He's probably going to give up three or four runs, even against the, the limp bats of Chunichi. So I imagine we'll see eight runs in the first seven innings for sure. Um, and once Chunichi starts to employ their relievers, I think Sabu's just going to tear them apart. So I think this 8.5 over is a good bet. So that's the first bet that I'm going to make. Um, the second bet I'm going to make is Nippon Ham to win. Uh, at 1.68, they're favored. Um, they're pitching Uehara, and uh, DNA is going with Hiranami. So let me show you those starters and what they've got. So Uehara is a really good pitcher. He has a 3.31 ERA in 65 innings pitched this season. He's got a 7.85 strikeout rate, which is good and his whip is a little high at 1.42 let's take a look at his last six games uh, he started the season off a little rough giving up six to SoftBank in 4.2 innings against Cebu he got roughed up for five runs in six innings but Cebu pretty much roughs everybody up after that he's he's calmed down and he's come back into form he went seven against SoftBank giving up none he went 7 against Seibu, giving up none, which is really impressive. He went 6.2 against Yakult, giving up 4. And then his last start last week, he went 7 innings against Hiroshima, giving up 1. So he's really coming in form. And I think this 3.3 ERA is pretty indicative of what you can expect from, from uh, Uazawa, Uazawa. So let's take a look at his career. Um, since he came into the league in 2014, he's been pretty consistent. Um, he went 135 innings, 75, 91, 165. So this 165 season is a real good telltale sign of who we're looking at. 
he had a 3.16 ERA last year in 165 innings. So he's a good stable pitcher. He's uh, Ulasella. He's going to. Uh, he's gonna. He's not. He doesn't really give up plunkers. I mean, he did at the beginning of the season, but since then he's come back to earth. And this is really who he is. I think he's a, he's a seven strikeout rate pitcher who can who who will give up three runs a game. Let's take it. Take a look at Hiranami, which is DNA starter. At first look. Um, I'm sorry, his name is Taira, not Hiranami. This this kanji is read, uh, okay, Hirayoshi. Taira is his name. So let's take a look at Taira. His career, yeah, I've, to be honest, I've never heard of him. That's why I didn't know. So, and this is why I've never heard of him. He started with Kyojin in 2016, and he only went three innings, 14, 67 innings last year for DNA. Uh, that was in relief, and then 10 innings this year, also in relief. So his ERA is a 4.25, um, but that's all in relief. He's only uh, appeared twice this season, and he's pitched 10 innings. He has a 4.22 strikeout rate, which is very low, and his whip is also very low, which is good, but, I mean, when you come in for relief, your whip is supposed to be low. So let's look at his two appearances. Uh, okay, well, he started his first game against Chunichi, and he gave up only one run. And then he went 4.2 against Oryx, and he gave up three. I don't really know who we're looking at, to be honest here. Um, and I think given the fact that... I misread the, the, the kanji, so my apologies for that. So I factored in the ERAs, but if you look at scored per game, Nippon Ham is better than DNA. And I think Nippon Ham is putting out a, a, a lot more reliable pitcher today. And both bullpens are fresh. Um, and if they do, if they are forced to go into relief, uh, Nippon Ham has the advantage here as well, especially in the whip. Um, so they're favored for a reason. Uh, both teams have scored average number of runs in their last three games. Uh, DNA, of course, is, has won one, and, and Nippon Ham has lost two in a row. But I think Nippon Ham has the advantage today, uh, especially with their pitcher and their lineup and their bullpen. I think all three of those are advantages for Nippon Ham. So these are my two bets. I'm betting the Seibu game to go over against Chunichi because Chunichi's bullpen is just dead, and Chunichi's starter has never gone over six innings. So I think Sebu's going to chew them, chew them up pretty good. And I'm going with, uh, sorry, I misspelled his name, Uesawa, not Uehara. Um, and I'm going with Nippon Ham to start uh, at a 1.68 uh, odds today. So those are my two bets. Um, I. I kind of like Rakuten too, but not enough to bet money on him. Uh, Shiomi is going against Randy Messenger. Randy Messenger is having a terrible season. He's a good pitcher, but he's having a terrible season, and Rakuten just scores a lot of runs. So I, I'm not betting Rakuten, but if I were to bet, I would take him as well. So those are the two bets. Uh, save you to go over, and if on hand to win. Good luck with your bets, everyone, and if you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. I will be back with more picks and odds on future games. So for now, good luck. Let's all bet together.